Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So you're on Fire and Steel's website and you see two flesh katanas and you think to yourself, I don't know the difference between these two katanas. You've read the description, but you think I need something visual to represent the difference between these two katanas. That's why I'm here. So let me show you guys what the difference between these two flesh katanas are. So let's get into it. So let's talk about this one first. So this one is our carbon steel flesh katana. So as you can see, when I hold the two of them next to each other, you got the wood one. This is the wood one, spoiler alert. Has a little bit of a darker um, uh, sheath, whereas the metal one has a lighter pink sheath. And uh, it also has like a leathery sheath. Um, and yeah, so you can take a look at all these details. You have the green handle. Obviously there are a little bit color differences between the two swords, but the biggest difference again between these two swords is the fact that one is metal and the other one is wood. So this is what the metal blade looks like. This one is carbon steel, it's not high carbon steel, so that means this one is dull. It doesn't come in a sharp version. Uh, but again, it's a, mostly a display sword. It's very cool to display. I wouldn't even really want to use it to cut anything just because I just wanna look at it all day. So this is what it looks like. If you guys have seen, or actually I think read Demon Slayer, you've probably already seen this katana. Whereas if you watch Demon Slayer, I don't think Kokushibo has been introduced yet, but I'm not 100% sure because controversial a thing i don't really watch demon slayer but i'm going to watch it very soon one day i promise i will i will watch it i just haven't had the time i've had the time i just haven't watched it it's we're not talking about me we're talking about the sword so this is what the metal katana looks like it has some really cool details like i said it has these eyes all over the blade and it has these eyes all over the tsuba as well as the handle so it's a very cool sword to just look at and really see it's probably one of my favorite demon slayer swords here but let me show you the wood one because the wood one is actually very very cool so this is the wooden flesh katana and i know a lot of people when they hear wooden katana they don't like it they want the they want the metal ones they want the sharp ones but this one actually has a lot of pros that the metal one doesn't have um first of all if you are cosplaying kokushibo which i don't think i've ever seen so Again, if you ever cosplay Kokushibo with uh, one of these katanas, please send us a picture because we have not seen that and we'd love to see that. Um, but yeah, this is great for cosplay. You can take it into conventions, whereas this one, it might be a little bit more iffy if you want to take it into conventions or not. It's really only for display. This one is a little bit more that you can take out and uh, you won't really have an issue at cons. But the cool thing about this one, other than the fact that it's wood, is that it's actually, I'll show you in a second. Let me show you guys the blade first. So. This is what the wooden one looks like. Uh, it's really cool because it's very light, very, very light. So if you have a child who likes Demon Slayer and you want to get them Kokushibo sword, but you don't really want to get them a metal one, this is another really good option because it looks really, really cool. It has all the same details that the metal one does with the eyes going down the blade, the eyes on the tsuba, and the eyes on the handle. There are slight differences, but it's pretty much the same sword but let me show you what's really really cool about this sword so if you take a look you'll actually see that there's two holes here and there's two here and two here and that actually lets you attach smaller little blades to the sword just like how kokushibo has it in the end so let me show you how that looks so it comes with uh these so um you can attach it to the sword however you want and i'll show you guys quickly how to do that so you can attach a small one right over here, kind of get it in. Then you have the medium sized one that goes up one. Ooh. There you go. And then you have uh, the biggest one that goes all the way at the top. And there you go. And now this sword is like a fully different sword. It's really, really cool and it looks just like how Kokushibo has it in the anime. And again, with the metal sword, something like this is a little bit more difficult. Whereas with the wooden sword, you have a lot of, a lot more freedom to do this kind of stuff. So again, it's perfect if you want to cosplay because you kind of have this opportunity too. And also, if you like this version of the Flesh Katana compared to um, it with just a single blade, this is also great for display purposes also because you really can't notice it. Like imagine if it's on a wall like this. It looks pretty cool, right? So you can also display the wood one. It doesn't have to be just for cosplay or just for um, a kid who, who likes Demon Slayer or any, anything else. It can also be uh, just for display. So again, these are two really, really good options. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to like the video, comment, uh, let us know what you think, and also subscribe if you wanna see more Fire & Steel content. If you wanna see even more Fire & Steel content, you're free to follow us on any social media. Any social media that you guys have, we also probably have. If you guys would like to purchase any of these swords, check the link uh, in the description down below. There will be a link to it, and you can also check out our website, fireandsteel.ca. Bye. <laughs>